Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We got Luke W. and Ryan Hogue with us today. It's been quite a while since he's been on the channel last, but we're going to talk a little bit about print on demand and merch by Amazon. I know we have a lot of subscribers on the channel that still want to hear about that content. So how have you been, Ryan? Like, how's the summer been going? And let's jump in from there. Luke, man, congrats. I saw you did 5K subscribers. So that is something worth celebrating. I, you've been on the hustle for a while, man. You deserve it. You deserve well more than that, but <laughs> it is what it is, man. I was going to say my summer has been the summer of YouTube. I I switched to doing like daily videos. Um, you know, for me, man, you were the first person I talked to when I quit my nine to five job mm -hmm. and went the full solopreneur route. But you know, what's funny is I, I kind of thought to myself, man, if I'm really serious about doing this, I'm going to try to treat it like a job and do, do these daily videos. So, right. And I mean, I've been in that process as well, and that's why I've grown my channel almost 400 videos. And that's, it's cool because these are everlasting videos that people are still watching from two years ago and they're still commenting and, and they're never going to go away. You know, as long as you're saving yeah. them on a hard drive too, in case YouTube explodes at some point. But I mean, <laughs> yeah, kind of <laughs> with, with that out of the way, I just want to also kind of see what have you been diving into with print on demand? What tier level are you at? You know, I'm kind of a newbie with this stuff. I just kind of created my own little brand here recently, which we can touch on in a bit, but tell me where you're at right now. And then uh, I want to ask you a few more questions after that. Yeah, man, I'd love to talk more about print on demand. So for me, like Amazon merch, that's always been like my top priority as far as print on demand sales go. And what was great about merch for me was that I started it right around the same time I started FBA. So it was just a great way of selling more products on Amazon and learning just Amazon, learning it as a seller, learning the whole ecosystem. So uh, just going back in time, like that's where I got my roots, FBA and merch kind of in parallel and really helped fast forward the learning process and get me comfortable being an Amazon seller. For me right now, I'm in tier 20,000 with Amazon merch. I've crossed the uh, quarter million dollar sales through merch threshold. So that's a pretty big milestone. <laughs> Dude, I had an interview on my channel the other day, uh, somebody who did 300K, so he's ahead of me with less products up and he did the designs from his phone. So, <laughs> dude, there's, I mean, there's crazy things possible with Amazon merch. Yeah, um, and honestly, I just want to say too, we're going to have Ryan's channel linked right down below and kind of go check out his channel for more merch by Amazon content. I, I haven't even been following YouTube that much. I've been uploading a bit more sp scarcely because I've been also updating my course and just enjoying the summer. And it's be it's best to bounce ideas off of multiple people. Like don't just follow one person as much as I want to say, follow my channel or die. Uh, I'm just kidding. But uh, nah. yeah, pretty, pretty much, you know, getting that those extra viewpoints in, you'll never know where you're going to pick up golden nuggets and, you know, roll with one guy that's going to kind of get you that awesome motivation in the beginning, but there's so much more info out there. And I also wanted to say, uh, yeah, like starting a Merch by Amazon account is, you know, kind of easy. I set up a video on that on my course. I got approved in two weeks. You know, there are some stipulations. If you're from other countries, they might ask for more uh, information for you. And there are still some things where it's hard to get in there, but once you're set up, it's completely free. Uh, tell us a little bit more about that, Ryan, how you yeah. can, uh, set and up and everything touching on like getting into merch by Amazon. Cause one of the biggest, the, probably the biggest thing that I'm asked across the board, is like, how can I get in? How can I get in? I keep getting rejected. Well, I mean, it's, there's nothing official, but if you have a U.S. tax ID, which if you're not born in the U S you can still get one by opening a business here. It's, it's good and bad, I guess, in the sense that you and I, sell on FBA. We are used to seller central. We're in control. We have, we, we know exactly what we can do. We know the full extent of what's possible with Amazon merch. A lot of people expect to have more control over their listings and whatnot. And it's like, when you sell through merch, Amazon's the seller. So that probably increases conversion rate and, and customer interest because people trust when they see Amazon as the seller, but we lose control over things like being able to customize the, um, product images and the full extent of the product listing, et cetera. You know, a lot of the stuff that we like to preach when we're talking FBA, we can't necessarily translate to merch, some of it, but not all. Right. And I just want to ask, so getting an EIN through the IRS is like a 15 minute process. I forgot it's been a while since I've done that, but is that kind of what all people need if they're out of the country or do they need some kind of other? I think you info? need the bank account too, honestly. You know, how difficult is it to create your own design? I, I think that's a question a lot of new people would be asking. And I know we use the tool Merch Informer and I'll even have that one linked down below. I think I have a discount for that as well. 
uh, for you guys to just get up. It's literally like a $10 a month service or something. Correct me if I'm wrong, Ryan. Yeah. Or? And with your code, you should be able to get like 20% off usually. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, signing up to that, uh, how difficult is it to make designs, Ryan? Yeah. And that's one of those things. That's a good question. It's one of those things worth uh, demystifying because like I alluded to earlier, I interviewed somebody who did $300,000 through Amazon merch in sales and he was using his phone. Like he was using, I forget what the app was called, but he was doing text designs from a free phone app. I mean, it, I can't make the stuff up. And, you know, you can obviously get a little bit more uh, complicated, but you don't have to, you know, and let's just say you're able to make my favorite thing to do. This was the mindset I had when I was just getting started. It was like, if you can make one sale a day at like 1799 price point, that'll make you, I think like $3 and uh, something like $3 and 54 cents profit per sale. If you can do one a day times 365, you've just increased your annual income by $1,292. Um, one sale, one sale a day at 1799. That's you can do that. I promise you can do that. I'm looking over here. I've done eight sales today already. There you go. Well, and nine, I, there was a return <laughs> and, and, and above that, like the merch by Amazon account and platform is through Amazon. So there's zero money to get started and they're printing all the products. The thing is the, the drawback is you're making a little less profit per sale as opposed to maybe FBA products or other things like that. But still, it's a completely free platform. And Ryan, tell us like a around the uh, trending items and the holidays, how you can really capitalize on some designs. So what design techniques would you use to really capitalize around maybe some upcoming holidays, uh, things like that? Because I know Merch Informer also gives you free vector designs that you're allowed to put in there. And they come out like every couple of months with holiday designs or summer designs. And you can literally throw those on shirts and they're free for use designs. So what, what would you use to kind of capitalize with some big trendy shirts or something? Yeah. If you're subscribed to Merch Informer, that's another great resource. Uh, like you said, you don't need to necessarily be a good graphic designer, or even if you are, there's some, there's value in understanding that your time is money. Like once you start e-commerce, your time is money now, officially it's it, your time is money. So if you spend a week on one design or you spend a week on a hundred designs, you have to just figure out what, which one's going to make you more money. You know, there doesn't have to be a right or wrong answer, but you have to kind of always be thinking that way. And I like to subscribe to the mindset that, you know, I do fancy myself a little bit of an artist, but mainly, you know, freehand. Uh, so when it's digital graphics, I go and I'll go to somewhere like Merch Informer, use the free vectors. I'll go, you know, I have, I do have a print on demand course where I have a couple like essentially free graphic resources you can use. And then some hmm. partnerships where I got them for free only if you're in the course, but, uh, yeah, like save yourself some time. Like I say, leave it to the professionals and, um, to touch on what you said about trends, man, I actually, this is one of the, this is one of the things that helped my YouTube channel kind of like skyrocket to success. I remember <laughs> this thought popped in my head, like, dude, do a weekly show, use software like Merch Informer to pull the top best-selling niches of that period of time. And then just tell people <laughs> this is so <laughs> obvious, right? But I've, I've been doing it. I'm 12 weeks in man. And it's crazy. The, the traction I'm getting, like every Sunday night, I do a YouTube premiere talk for like 15, 20 minutes about the top five niches of the week projecting forward, but also using like the recent data to, to figure it out, man. And it's like, people are loving it. It does like 4,000 views in a day sometimes. And what <laughs> 10,000 views in seven days. Like it's crazy, but it's obvious. It's like for good reason, man. Like you said, like trends, that's where the money is. That's where the quick money is. Let's, let's say there's money in evergreens. Like when I was saying one sale a day, 1799, you can just build up evergreen designs all day and make that, that one sale. But I wanted to say that in this past Sunday's video, there was a great example of kind of what you were alluding to with uh, trending designs, man. I I was sharing one of the top niches. Uh, John Lewis was a, I believe, like Republican senator. Do you, do you know who I'm talking about? He was a, uh, what is he, John Lewis? Representative, so I guess Congress. And dude, I'm not, by the way, government stuff's not my strong suit. But I'm just saying <laughs> representative means Congress. And so he passed away, unfortunately. Hmm. Anytime that like a big, you know, politicians in the news for any reason, good or bad, it's on people's minds. And then they tend to go looking for a t-shirt. And one of the best selling shirts right now is not just a John Lewis shirt, but it's a vote shirt. So it's taking mm -hmm. the 
polarizing, you know, 2020, we need to get out there and presidential election and, and also John Lewis. And it's intersecting the two because he has quotes that are really famous about voting. And man, the people who jumped on that are crushing right now. Like they're making hundreds of dollars a day in profit. And that's what, like, again, that could have been you, it could have been me, you know, sharp people are out there doing that. So so it's yeah, crazy. so it's literally like you're you're com- that's the trick to merch. It sounds like you find some relevant you know time frame that we're in, which you know voting season is coming up, and then you take a figure, and then you literally have like a cool like vote now thing on your T-shirt, and then below it a little quote with the guy's name on it. Is it against terms of service to use like people's names that are politicians, public figures? Can we use Trump's head on there or something or something like that? You know, man, this is a good question. And it's one that I wish like, I wish this could just be broadcast to everybody who starts Amazon merch because there's two sides of it. One side is the legality of things, right? There's the actual law. It's like trademark law, copyright law. How does it apply? You know, I actually teach at a local university. I teach web development. And one of the lectures we do is like solely dedicated to intellectual property law as it applies to the internet. So it actually translates into Amazon merch because there is the legal side of things and that should always be like taking precedent over everything. But then there's this, so you have to know what's, what's within the law there, but then there's the other side and it's what Amazon merch allows. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And that is what is more strictly enforced because if it's, if Amazon merch allows you to get away with something, but you're breaking the, uh, the, the real law, you're not in trouble unless somebody like goes after you. Right. And I'm not in, I'm not trying to say like, Oh yeah, so don't worry about it. I'm just saying like, that's how it works. It's really the, the, oh, I'm not breaking the real law. So I'm going to do this. And then Amazon merch has a problem with it. And that's what most people run into. And they, they're, you know, I run like an Amazon merch Facebook group. And, you know, one of the most common questions we get in there is like, why was I rejected? And they've actually gotten better about telling you why. Uh, It's not always an exact science, but at least now in the rejection email, they'll more specifically tell you like what, what you did wrong. So So at the end of the day, we want to make money. We want a cool brand. And I don't know if you can screen share real quick and pull up kind of like my little FBA freak brand that I literally just started. And I mean, I I have an Instagram around it and it just keeps growing on followers. But uh, the screen share is just kind of showing us that's my little FBA freak or my tank top. I bought one myself (laughs) in blue and I wear it to the gym. People are like, whoa, what is that? What is FBA? Right. And it, it's a cool conversation starter. I never wear shirts that have really like words on them or big logos, but now this is something that's a cool conversation starter. Looks like I already got a review there. That's pretty sweet. And I like how it says support the FBA freak channel. <laughs> <laughs> note note to people watching, by the way, if you try to jam a URL in the bullets or something, uh, you'll get an instant rejection. So, <laughs> so yeah, actually, while we're on this listing, how could I rank better? Honestly, I did the worst title in like five seconds as a total test run. Now, guys, I'll have this shirt linked below if you want to be an FBA freak too. Okay. Nice, so, uh, nice. But I was going to say for my title, what would you, what kind of creative title would you throw on this to maybe get more traction? And would I try and rank for entrepreneur, for e commerce? I mean, what, what let me would you say? let me walk you through. Actually, this is a good uh, could be a good little use case here. So I have this free tool that I built on my website. I call it the search merch tool. And when you use it, all it does is it filters out non Amazon merch listings. So you're only seeing your merch competition, which is typically your more direct competition anyways, because uh, when you sell through merch, your stuff is prime eligible. And we all know people love their Amazon prime, right? Mm-hmm. So over here, like you kind of have to figure out what are, what, who are you, you know, who's your target market? Like what keywords are you really trying to rank on here? So it looks like FBA to me are, is the main keywords I'd say. Mm-hmm. So I might come over here and just say FBA. And this is what I like to do when I'm trying to niche down and see like how big the pie is first of all, but then can I cut a piece out of it for myself? Uh, so I'll type in FBA and there's actually only 29 results. So. I know that's the first thing I looked at, man. What? <laughs> well, dude, when I see this few results, the first thing that comes to mind is like, I would probably not feel comfortable publishing a listing on these keywords. Yeah. Just because like th- this can also be indicative of whether or not you're going to get rejected due to including some set of keywords. So uh-huh. But the fact that you got yours, <laughs> see this, like, this is hilarious right here. Reinstated FBA suspension survivor. Like that's hilarious. 
Um, I don't know. So I mean, this would be a good way of like trying to validate your keywords, but obviously I'm, I'm using DS Amazon quick view here to see the BSR and the average BSR is in like the eight digits, which is not ideal. That means yeah. you're probably making like one sale every three months. Right. Do you, do you even rank bro? That's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're saying. So yeah, you want to have more results popping up. All these guys aren't really making sales. So maybe FBA isn't the type of shirt. Yeah, if, if we searched like e-commerce or something, we might see like the top, you know, the top row, the top two rows of page one with a much lower BSR. And I, I would feel more comfortable doing that. Maybe not though. No rank found, no rank found. Interesting. So it would be easier for me to rank up on these pages since, you know, everyone's not really making sales here in the first place. But the, the reason I made the shirts more for just fun and being creative, just to kind of get my subscribers out there. Right, and right. Test run a product for myself. Like I can get into the ideas of mashing a, a unicorn with a political season or something and make some crazy trendy, you know, phrase or something. Like that seems what it, you have to do. You got to take like two things and combine dude, them. Two big world. niches, yes. Like I've done that before. My mom, dude, I I mean, it's so I was helping my mom's Amazon account, aka doing everything for her merch account. <laughs> and I had a design that was like a trending TV show without infringing and a trending holiday. So it was like the perfect storm. And I put it on her account and it made her like $500 in sales. So I think she kept, I don't know, between 100, 150 as profit and got her eligible for tier 500 while she was in tier 10, you know, like right when her account was open, basically. That's so awesome. Yeah. I'm still stuck in tier 10 right now. Honestly, like I just haven't been making a lot of sales with it or put work into creating one design that I've actually put work into to try and make it sell a bunch. Like, I mean, I'm just kind of doing it for more of the creative outlet, but at this point now I have about eight or nine designs up. So I need to maybe delete ones that delete the ones that haven't sold. Yeah. <laughs> just kind of do a little more work. And that's what we do. It, it sounds like what's your process for finding a good market? It's like typing in a keyword and then just kind of seeing what products are on the first page and getting ideas yeah. from that. You know, and it's like, well, for one, you can always check out the top five niches of the week Sunday series um, on my channel. But, you know, I'm basically going to tools like Merch Informer that you recommended. Uh, I use another one called Merch Ninja. It's from like, it's built in by German engineers, but it's like really good. It does the same thing basically. But yeah, let me show you really quickly. So this is a little hack right here. Just don't type anything. Search t-shirts. <laughs> Boom. All of a sudden we're seeing the top sellers. So you can wow. get a nice idea from just looking at this. Like, dude, this Pluto shirt. I mentioned this two weekends ago. I was like, A, like the Pluto niche popped up out of nowhere. And I was like, this would have been in the top five, but it's basically my number six. Last week, it came up another like 10 spots and now it's in the top 10. So wow, uh, that's another one that's gaining steam. A lot of political shirts are going to be popular. A lot of politically charged shirts are going to be popular. And mm -hmm. uh, like John Lewis right here, you know, this is kind of what I was referring to. Like sometimes you can do a text only design. Just do a quote, you know? Wow, that easy. And uh, you want to see wow. how many sales it's doing? <laughs> Let's run Jungle <laughs> Scout. 14 sales a day uh, at that price point, doing about 523 times 14. So $73 a day. Wow. Profit. On the back of Amazon doing all the printing, all the shipping, all the work, all you did was put a little, you know, quote on a, on a design and then Amazon, it's getting printed. You don't handle any of the inventory. That's the kind of the thing that, you know. Or just customer the, service. Or customer service. I mean, <laughs> Man, so many it's ways awesome. to make money. What the heck, dude? Like, and hey, man, let me touch on something too. Like, so I've, uh, I'm gonna stop screen sharing, but I've been kind of transitioning my workflows for print on demand from the grind, you know, like the real grind that you face in tier 10 when you're learning the ropes. Same way with FBA, you know, you're learning the ropes, it's a grind, period. Yeah. Um, and, and like when I sell my print on demand course, like I teach all the stuff you need to know. And I never recommend skipping to the very end, the last module, but the last module is like what everybody should be very happy exists where you can switch to a basically fully automated workflow. <laughs> Dude, this is crazy. So you'll actually be able to appreciate it because you sell on seller central. Most people don't sell seller central. They're scared of it. This tool, 
you can just run it while you're asleep and it it automates uploads to seller central but it doesn't even run on your computer it runs off their web server so like last night i got 200 new amazon fbm print on demand listings created where if they sell like somebody else is going to create them fulfill them ship them all that through my seller central account so it's a perfect complement to amazon merch i just take my t-shirt designs sell them on coffee mugs and don't even need to upload this this software does it for me man so it's it's the year's 2020 keep in mind man we are living in the future so this stuff it's like it's there dude that's so awesome i might have to look into your merch course at some point when i got time like this next fall or winter honestly i want to crank down and get some of that extra stuff going just so I can make more content about it too. And that's yeah. why I make videos. Like once I am interested in something, I can't just bundle it all to myself. I literally have to go talk about it and it helps me learn that process more. So the more I'm doing Merch by Amazon, the more I'm gonna put Merch by Amazon videos out there and get better at it myself and help people in the in the process. But dude, I love what you're doing, man. Uh, any other kind of last minute things that you wanna wrap up with for print on demand? and? I mean, where can people find you again? You have all these tools. Is that all linked on your page? I'm, I'm just going to link your YouTube down below and people yeah. can find the rest of your stuff from there. Link my YouTube, man. And, uh, you know, if you're wanting to learn more about print on demand, I would just say, like, check out my my Sunday series. You know, my Sunday, that Sunday video series, I'm 12 weeks deep. Like, the feedback is incredible, which, I mean, makes me feel great. And uh, it makes me feel like a genius for thinking about it. I don't know what I was doing. I feel like I was like out on the boat or something, just kind of like chilling, enjoying life. And then it was like, like God came to me like, dude, top five niches of the week, do it like, straight from the heavens, man. But um, another cool thing too, just to plug is like, I, because it's so popular, I have like what I'm, what I call my print on demand, like mega bundle. So I give away $1,500 in prizes every week, every week. Cause these the, people like uh merch ninja actually is the, so they're like an uh, alternative to merch informer. They're sponsoring it. So I'm giving away research tools. I'm getting, giving away licenses to uh merch Titans for automation. I'm giving away licenses to all sunsets for pre-made graphics. So if they're like you and me who can't design, you just go <laughs> use the pre-made graphics. So um, it's free to enter. There's a link in the description of that video, man. But it's like, I'm so excited that I can do that, you know, and, and help, help people along the way with their print on demand journey. And yeah, last thoughts, man, you already know Q4 it's coming. So just get as many products for sale online as possible. If it's FBA, if it's print on demand, if it's like some digital download, it doesn't even matter. Just be selling something. That's so awesome, man. And last thing, I just want to know what time is your Sunday series at 8 PM. I'm trying to do it like on the dot 8 PM YouTube premiere there in the live chat with everybody watching, man. It's been great. Is that Pacific time or? Oh, sorry, Eastern. <laughs> okay, Eastern I'm over time. here on the East Coast. So that'd be 5 p.m. for me. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll put in my little notebook. I already wrote in my notebook, like do a live stream or do a video with Ryan and I have my checkbox next to that. So also just, you know, set goals every month. Literally, I've been doing that for like three years. I write goals. I have a checkbox next to them. Every time I do that, I, I write a, a checkbox. So there's just, so many cool things that, you know, when you're responsible for creating your own income, you have to hold yourself accountable and, you know, setting goals and checking them off. Nothing feels better. Dude, hundred percent agree. So, uh, yeah, thanks guys. Please drop a thumbs up on the video. Go check out Ryan's channel. Like I said, and we will see you in the next one. Peace out.